Hello. Today we're going to talk about in circa fields and how to access and utilize the functionality within this exciting new offering. So first of all, go to the incirca.pioneer.com homepage. On the upper right, there'll be the member login button. If you don't have an Incirca account, go ahead and click on the create your free account today icon and it will walk you through the steps to create your Incirca account. Once you have your username and password, go ahead and click on Member Login. Type in your username and password and enter the Incirca dashboard. Once at the Incirca dashboard, you'll see your tabs at the top. You'll have your Yield tab. So if you're enrolled in Nitrogen, or my yield, you will see those icons there. And within the view tab, if you click to expand that, you will find my view, community view, fields, and premium. So today we're going to talk about in circa fields. So go ahead and click on fields. This will pop up. Go ahead and click yes. And it will bring up your in circa fields page. Once in Circa Fields loads, you will see the layout of the map of the area in which you're in. On the left side of your screen, you'll see this little tab. So go ahead and click to expand that, and you will see your operation and field tree show up along with the year. Here you will have the opportunity to condense or expand that operation and field tree. This icon right here will be your grower picker. So once you have the agency, you can go ahead and click this drop down box to select any operation you like, as well as the year in which you have data loaded for that operation. It can go back as many years as you have data for so that you can do an analysis for each year that you would like. To view data, go ahead and go to your operation in field tree on the left, select the field you would like, expand the crop zone, and here you will have the data layer that you would have created within Field 360 Studio. That could be an as planted map or a harvest map or any other type of layer created. So for today we're going to click on harvest. Once that data layer shows up you will see the field in which you have selected, and the layer of data. Here in the legend you have a drop down box that allows you to select from several different options or attributes. As you can see we have the corn layer selected um, and you can select from many of the others as well. You can select elevation and that will show you the slope difference in the field. You can also select moisture, and that will show you the differences in moisture throughout the field. And there are several other things that you can take a peek at as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to corn. Once at the field, you can also select this little arrow and expand the box there to take a look at what some of the colors coordinate to in terms of yield. And you will also see that available for some of the other selections as well. You can also select the properties tab within that field and it will get you the stats that that represents as well. Please note that you will have to click on the field in order for that to display. Also, under the Tools feature, you can add a planting field operation. So if you have a farm where you do not have any data loaded, you can go ahead and add in that data by clicking on the field, going to Tools, and selecting add planting field operation. From there you can add the planting date, the crop, the brand, 
the variety the seed treatment acres planted you can put in your seeding rate and then hit the calculator to figure total units and you can save that planting information and from there you will see that show up as a planting layer within that operation. Once you have planting data within in circa fields you will have a crop progress tab that will show up so whether you read in the as planted data or went to the tools menu here and added it in manually once that shows up under that farm and the crop type you will have a crop progress tab click on that tab to view the crucial statistics of that farm which includes growth stage daily GDUs accumulated GDUs precipitation totals etc. It really gives you those statistics for that farm throughout the year that can allow you to make some high-level management decisions. There are several reports that can be generated within Incirca fields. To access and run those reports, hover over the Tools button and select Print Reports. From there, you will have a drop-down box that gives you several report templates to choose from. Once you select the report that you would like to run, go ahead and click OK and it will email you that report. Once you get back to the maps portion, on the right hand side you will see a map layers box. Click on that to expand or contract it. From there you have the opportunity to select several features. You will have a weather layer, a soil type overlay. You will have a PLSS layer that is the public land survey system layer as well as a field notes layer and then a current location which if selected will outline exactly where you are in relation to this field. So within the field notes layer what that will do is that will allow you to view any in circa view note that has been taken within that field um, for your use within the in circa fields service. Within your map layers box by selecting the weather layer options link you can select your year-to-date weather, your weather from the planting date, or you can select arrange manually so if you're interested in the amount of precipitation or weather, heat, etc. that took place during pollination or another time period that piques your interest, go ahead and put the start and end date for that time period and view the weather uh, associated with it. In summary, DuPont Pioneer and Circa View Fields is an excellent way to have data ready at your fingertips. Uh, when working with growers in or out of their fields. DuPont Pioneer and Circa View fields can be accessed with a good internet connection through any desktop or mobile device. Remember, you enter the DuPont Pioneer and Circa View fields through the In Circa View dashboard by expanding the View tab and clicking on Fields. Thank you and have a great time using this excellent data management tool.